Thank you. Thank you. Well, next up in the workflow is to test your designs and see how they would work in the real world. So to hear more, we have SolidWorks Product Portfolio Manager, Nicola Pia. You got it. Thank you. So You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. No, I don't have an accent. You guys have an accent. All right. Thank you very much. We're going to speak about simulation. Um, so as products are becoming increasingly more complex and industry is more competitive, there are growing pressures to innovate faster and more cost effectively. Simulation became a critical advantage for growing companies that pushed the envelope on product innovation. Many have relied on SOLIDWORKS simulation for years to do just that, innovate. SOLIDWORKS users can now solve complex physics faster with accuracy and confidence. Built on the cloud-based 3D experience platform, Simulia Structural Simulation Engineer, we call that also SSE, expands SOLIDWORKS simulation. Following a successful Lighthouse beta program, I'm pleased to announce that SSE will be commercially available very soon. And now, please join me in welcoming to the stage one of our Lighthouse participants from Canada, in focus energy services. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Peter Chelbotten. Hi, Hi Peter. Nicola. Thanks for being here. Welcome to SolidWorks World. It's great to be here. Thank you so much. So, can you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, InFocus Energy, and also how did you get started with simulation in the first place? Certainly. Um, so, my name is Peter Chalboten, and I'm an engineer with InFocus Energy Services. InFocus is a small but fast growing company based in Edmonton, Canada. And we design innovative drilling and completion tools for the oil and gas industry. Um, we like to d design new disruptive technology. We try and stay away from making those me too products. And we try to do things that people say aren't possible, like completely eliminating the elastomer, the number one cause of failure in a drilling power section. Um, this is a very competitive industry. And if you're not constantly innovating and working on the next big thing, you won't be around for too long. And even with the Canadian drilling industry in a downturn, we're thriving right now. And SolidWorks is a big part of that. SolidWorks is a key part of InFocus, and it has been since the very beginning. It helps us take those aha moments, those ideas, and turn them into working designs. It helps us be agile and to react quickly when needed. And sometimes we do need to react quickly. For example, um, we got a phone call a little while ago from a customer in the Middle East, and this customer needed one of our high-speed reaming tools. It's a fluid-actuated tool where you pump fluid down it. The tool spins at crazy fast speed, 1,500 to 20,000 RPM, all while jetting fluid. And that takes the cuttings, the debris, and all those jagged hole edges and shoots them back up whole. Well, this customer needed this tool in a size that didn't exist yet, even as a concept. And they needed it on site in the Middle East in nine days. Impossible, right? Well, we fired up SolidWorks and simulation and we got to work. We did the design calcs, we scaled the design up to a new size, we adjusted the fits and clearances, and we ran simulations to make sure the critical components were strong enough. And in about 48 hours, we were done the design process. Then we worked with some amazing machine shops, and it's important to keep a good relationship with your vendors so you can call in favors like this when needed. Um, we got the parts built, assembled, tested, torn down, and shipped to the Middle East. And we did it start to finish in nine days. Wow. That's impressive. 48 hours, a new design. Of course, you use simulation in your design process, so you guys were like super fast. So it sounds like you're on the top of your game with simulation. Um, when we announced SSC in the Lighthouse program, uh, what made you look for uh, a new solution, such as uh, SSE. So I've been using SolidWorks Simulation for about 15 years, and it's a really great tool for most of our work. We use SolidWorks Sim Premium for just about everything. Um, it's quick to use. It's, it's very easy to use as well. There's no hesitation to do it. At least once a week, one of the five of us in engineering will say FEA, and we'll fire up simulation and get to work. So don't get me wrong. SolidWorks Simulation Premium is an amazing product, and it works very well. 
but sometimes we need more power. Cases where we have a lot of nonlinearity, a lot of contact, are very large models. Um, now, when that happens, uh, we need something a little bit more. And last year, we were designing a new drive system for a reflex drilling motor. This was complex geometry, uh, complex contact patches, significant deformation, and in the worst cases, plastic deformation. And we were struggling a little bit with SolidWorks. We were simplifying this model down. We were using symmetry. We were using cyclic symmetry. Um, it still wasn't doing exactly what we wanted it to do. And that's where SSE came in. When we heard about something that took the power of Abacus with a front end and user interface that was as easy to use as SolidWorks, it seemed like a great idea. And it turns out it really was. Um, all these complex surfaces, can we get the next slide? All these complex surfaces interacting with each other, um, and the general contact algorithm in, in Abacus worked just perfectly. It took me less than 30 seconds to set up contact for the entire model, um, which is, is just awesome. Um, we could also cut our solve times down significantly. Um, SSE lets us solve not just locally, but we can also push it off to the cloud and solve using high-performance computing resources. And that let us take our solve times from these overnight solves down to just a couple of hours. Now, you can also imagine parts like this are not cheap to manufacture, so destructively testing them can add up really, really quickly. And I would say on this one project alone, SSE let us save at least $10,000, and it could be multiples of that. Um, that's just one project we do. We can easily work on eight or 10 different projects a year, so you do the math. Wow, so you're using SolidWorks simulation, SSE. Um, I mean, it's, it's such a successful story, it's, it's, it's wonderful. So. A lot of designers and engineers here um, would like to do simulation. I hear that a lot, but they are a little bit, you know, they can, they can be intimidated by simulation. Um, what, what would you have to say to them? What, what kind of recommendation or tips would you have to, uh, to, to say to the, your SOLIDWORKS fellows here? Um, well, simulation is definitely a key part of the design and the engineering process at InFocus, and it's because we like making data-driven decisions. Um, even really simple studies can give you a lot of great insight, but complex studies can actually give you more insight than physical testing can. You can pause, you can zoom in, you can rewind, fast forward, you can look at any parameter you want from any angle you want, and there's no physical test setup that can do that. Um, so whether it's a quick gut check on a concept to doing a complex analysis on complex geometry, simulation gives us answers. We use those answers to make decisions, and that helps us make sure the tools we're putting out the door are the best tools possible. So simulation is absolutely worth the effort. Now, um, <clears throat> Simulation is definitely worth the effort. Uh, if you're trying to get into simulation, but you think it's too hard, it doesn't have to be. There's a ton of resources out there. Talk to your reseller. Look at mysolidworks.com. Um, and especially, I would say, the resellers. Uh, your reseller has a lot of experience getting companies and people into simulation the right way but it's also the information age. There's YouTube, there's blogs out there. There is a ton of information if you look for it, and it's a lot easier than you think it is. So um, at InFocus, SSE and other simulation tools are a competitive advantage for us. Um, simulation helps us stay on the leading edge of drilling technology, and that's where we want to be. All right, thank you so much, Pete. I just want to say that we have a hands-on this afternoon at uh, 1.45 or 2.45, and Pete is going to speak also on a breakout session on a Wednesday afternoon at 1.30. So thank you so much, Pete. Thank uh, you, Nicola. Thank you very much. Great job, great job. Thank you.